studio. All right, let's chat a bit more about this now. Homelessness and municipalities. Leona Pienaar, who is the CEO of Mold and Power Serve, an organization that assists homeless people. Leona joins us now live in studio. Leona, very good afternoon. Thanks for, you, for your time on the program. I mean, there's an estimated 200,000 homeless people in South Africa. I mean, what strategies can municipalities come up with to deal with the influx of homelessness and the level of low homelessness that we see in South Africa. Thanks, Griselda, and thanks for having us. I think it's, it's such a multi-layered problem, yeah. homelessness. It's not a one, one type of problem. Yeah. And during 2020, during COVID, I think the Department of Social Development, together with the municipality and other departments, realized that it is an interdepartmental problem. Yeah. And we need all all departments actually to take hands so as much as social development is helping with subsidies and you get home affairs that can come in and help with documents and then you can get labor to come in with training and you can get housing to come in and help us build the housing ladder for South Africa because there's such a big gap but then the municipality side of it what I think is really weakening the, the NGO sector in helping the homeless is the fact that we pay institutional rates for utilities. So we really have to, we don't get that first kilowatts for free. We pay full our one shelter alone this year. It's we paid 1.2 million in utilities. So there's little left for developmental services. Mm -hmm. What can be, a, can be done to assist uh, in this regard? Uh, I mean, municipalities could obviously you know, look at ways to assist or to bolster the efforts that you're making towards mm -hmm. dealing with, the, um, you know, homelessness. In particular, I guess I would say in big metros, many would move to these big metros, uh, yeah. you know, in, in search of better opportunities. What kind of yeah. assistance would you be looking for? I think that is the, the dilemma is we have such an influx. And now when so many people lose their jobs, there's even a bigger influx. And there's not enough housing solutions in terms of safe spaces, shelters, transitional housing, because you need to be able to move people from one phase to the next so that you can get them off the street. So you, you need that safe space as an entry level where newcomers can come if they can't find a place to stay. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they become chronic homeless and then the problem becomes even more difficult. So the municipality can come alongside us and they have been trying. We have a task team in Johannesburg mm -hmm. where we discuss these issues, but I think the, the challenge is there's not enough opportunities where they can sell their produce. So we teach them, for example, mm -hmm. knitting and crocheting and other skills, but they don't have a place where they can go and sell. They don't have a place where they can sort out their papers. They don't have mm -hmm. access to IDs all the time. They lose it on the streets because yeah. they often get attacked or arrested on the street by, by police enforcement. Yeah. Are there enough programs, uh, you know, um, in municipalities, uh, you know, that would be able to assist uh, at the homeless in particular, uh, you know, with issues such as this? where there's certain documentation you would need to access certain services. Mm -hmm. um, are you finding that to be a challenge amongst uh, municipalities? I think so. I think the social development side of the municipality needs to come much more alongside the real issues that we're dealing with. Um, I think there's certain projects they try and support, but their budgets are so limited. Um, but the big impact will be if they can come alongside service delivery organizations like ourselves and the others in the homeless network, we, we, we render a service, we prepare to run, we, we fundraise to run the yeah. services. So if the municipality can come alongside the NGO sector and say, our contribution is that there's at least a scale, that you don't have to pay the full scale, that at least the first couple of litres of water yeah. is free. Leon, just very quickly, we're about to run out of time. Sure. Very interested as well as homelessness and the elections that are coming up. How have you been assisting as an organisation to perhaps try and make sure that those who want to participate in this uh, process are able to do so and have the right documentation? We try and get IDs. We, we tried for the whole of COVID year. Yeah. <laughs> in 2020, the Hope Department of Home Affairs did come out and they did assist a couple. And there's so much more that we need to do in that regard. But we do allow the different parties parties to come and engage with the clients in our shelters. We've had a couple of parties already engaging. Um, so we, we open to that and we try and help and assist where we can because we believe in democracy. Absolutely. Leona, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Appreciate your time, of course.
looks at Leona Pienaar, the CEO of Mold Empower Serve, an organization that is assisting the, the homeless. Of course, so some of the challenges that they're experiencing pertaining to, uh, you know, some of the monies that they have to pay, uh, which is quite, runs into millions, she says, uh, over and above uh, uh, the monies that they receive uh, from some of those uh, uh, donating to them. And uh, 200,000 people understood to, to be um, a homeless in South Africa. That's the current uh, figure that we have in uh, South Africa. Take a short